Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development and today I wanted to answer a question received from Karen. She's asking how to measure the length of the SVG. Okay, so she's got a SVG shape and wants to animate the shape from nothing to the full shape, SVG shape, and she needs to figure out what is the stroke dash array value. So we're gonna find out how to do it today. Alrighty, so this is a great question. Thanks for sending it through, Karen. And you're not the only one. So I thought I'll put quickly together a demo on CodePen so where everyone can explore and play with the stroke dash array. Okay, so what I've got here is a SVG, transparent SVG outline, which I exported from Illustrator, cleaned up and embedded on the page. So it's a simple SVG element with an ID and everything else stays as it was exported from Photoshop or Illustrator, sorry. I use Illustrator for all the SVGs. And if we use, if we use the stroke dash array equals any number, so let's start with 500, you'll see what's happening. So this makes the line dashed and not the full path. So to get the, to the right value, simply increase this to 1000. You see that now covers uh, save it, that now covers around half of the shape. Stroke dash array thousand. Why is it not showing anything? Save it, refresh. Alrighty, so that is almost half of the shape or roughly. So again, double that up to 2000. We've got a couple pixels there remaining so let's try 2100 and 10 and that completes the shape okay so it is it is a bit of random so how you mentioned in your email as well it might be a random number but you can get to it just start with something small like we started with 500 you'll see roughly where it is so this is like one fourth of of the whole shape so make that a two two thousand and then just fine tuning the rest. So in our case, this is 2110. In the scroll workshop, as you know, the value was 3300. Same thing, that's how I figured that out. So we just bump the values up until you see the full shape, okay? And then you can animate it from zero to this big number. Alrighty, so that's how you come up with this stroke dash array value when it is a rectangle, okay? If you have a path, which I can just copy and paste a path in here as well, which is a triangle. So this path is a SVG path, so it's not a rectangle or circle, it's just a path. You can then use JavaScript to get you the value of the length, okay? So because we use rectangle, we have to do it manually. I couldn't figure out a way how to get it using JavaScript. So for the path, we can actually turn on the JavaScript section of the code pen. And again, I'll copy and paste something in here, which is a simple variable SVG. So it will get the path because it has a class SVG. And then there is a JavaScript function, get total length of that path. Okay. And then we console log the value of the path. So if I go in here, inspect, inspect and go to the console, you'll see that it now renders the 647 value, which is the stroke dash array of our path. So if I would copy this stroke dash array, paste it in side of the path and change that to 647, you see that the triangle is now fully completed. If I remove 10, so make it three, you see there is a little gap there as well. Okay, so this is how you can figure it out more automatically instead of guessing when you're using the path. Okay, so it depends what shape, what CSS or what SVG shape you're animating. And if you're using path, you can use this JavaScript, JavaScript uh, code which spits out the stroke dash array offset for you. Okay, so in for the triangle, it would be six, four, seven. And that's it for today. 
Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something about how to get the value of the stroke dash array for your SVG and SVG lines animation. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video and visit my blog at ihatetomatoes.net for more front end development tips, demos, tutorials, deconstructions and just the crazy stuff from the guy who hates tomatoes. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.